Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a, b, c, d, and n are integers, where n is greater than zero. If a is congruent to b modulo n, and c is congruent to d modulo n, then a, c is congruent to b, d modulo n. Now, our definition of congruence modulo n is as follows. To say that a is congruent to b modulo n means n divides a minus b. Similarly, this means n divides c minus d, and this means n divides ac minus bd. Okay, so now let's get into our proof. So we're given integers a, b, c, d, and n, where n is greater than zero. And from here, we want to show if this is true, then this is true. So let's suppose that these two things are true. The whole goal from here is to show that this is true. Now to start, since a is congruent to b modulo n, this means n divides a minus b. What does it mean for n to divide a minus b? It means that there exists an integer such that a minus b is equal to n times that integer. I'll call the integer p. We're also given that c is congruent to d modulo n, and we know that that means n divides c minus d. And to say that n divides c minus d means there exists an integer such that c minus d is equal to n times that integer. I'll call the integer q. The whole goal has been to show that ac is congruent to bd modulo n, which means we want to show that n divides ac minus bd, which means we want to find an integer such that ac minus bd is equal to n times that integer. And to see what that integer is, let me start out by writing ac minus bd. We want to express ac minus bd as n times some integer. How could we do that? Well, we probably need to somehow use the fact that a minus b equals np and c minus d equals nq. So how could we bring these two guys into what we're doing right here? Well, one way is we could subtract and add bc. If we do this, well then, for the first two terms, we can factor out a c, and for the last two terms, we can factor out a b. And as you can see, we have brought a minus b and c minus d into our work. And we know that a minus b is equal to np, so we can substitute a minus b for np. And we know that c minus d is equal to nq, so we can substitute c minus d for nq. And now we see that both of our terms have n in it, so we can factor out an n. And as you can see, we have expressed ac minus bd as being equal to n times some integer. So this tells us that n divides ac minus bd. And since n divides ac minus bd, this means that ac is congruent to bd modulo n. So we have shown if these two things are true, then this is true. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.